Hello everyone, my name is Catherine Belair and today I will give you five tips on how to forgive. Okay, first I, um, these tips have uh, helped me out and I'm sure it will help you too if you just give it a try. So first I will give you the five tips and then I'll give you the five tips again with some examples and details. Okay, number one, uh, no, acknowledge that forgiveness to forgive someone else doesn't mean that it's okay what they did to you. And number two, pray to the Creator, our Creator, or whatever high power that you call your high uh, Creator. And number three, make it a habit to forgive. And number four, start a gratitude journal. And five, Take it till you make it. <laughs> okay, number one. Um, know that forgiveness is not saying that what the other person did to you is okay. It's, it's not that at all. <clears throat> okay, forgiving uh, someone else means that you are breaking soul ties with that person and that you are ready to move on with your life. And the minute that you forgive the other person, that's when the healing starts. And, um, and your heart becomes all cleansed and uh, become light. Okay, when, um, when you forgive the other person, um, sorry, it doesn't mean that you have to keep that person into your life. It is okay. It is okay to cut that person out of your life. They choose to betray your trust. And when they betrayed your trust, that shown you that they did not give a damn about you. They did not give a damn about your feelings, your life, your soul, your feelings. They were just thinking of themselves. <clears throat> and, um, and when you forgive, it's okay not to forget. Because your memories are your strength. Your memories are your best friends. Forgiveness, and, and when I say to forget, I don't mean to go and rub in that person's face uh, what they did wrong to you, like, forever, you know, just for the sheer pleasure of it. Forgi because that's not forgiveness. Uh, forgiving, it's evil. When, when I say not forgetting, it means uh, remembering it. Not holding on to it, but remembering it for uh, when you get into another situation like that. Uh, <coughs> Your memory is telling you, remember the last time what happened? Don't get into that situation again. You know, an example, <clears throat> you had a bad relationship with a person and the person betrayed your trust and hurted you. Well, uh, and then you decide to um, terminate the relationship. And then a year later, you meet someone else. And that person has the same signs characteristic of that other person and your memories is telling you remember the last time with so and so who uh, hurted you betrayed your trust this is the same thing so now your memories is telling you now is the time to get out you know so that's when your memories are your friends your your mem your memories are never your enemies your memories are your friends and they're telling you something so listen to it that's when when you need to um, take action and your memories also the fact that you attracted that person again another person like that again in your life it means that you still have some wounds in your heart um, from that first event that that happened to you and it means your memories um, are telling you that you need to heal your wounds so, in, in that case, um, ask, ask the Creator to cleanse your heart of that, of all those wounds. And uh, ask the Creator um, to, to fill your heart of light, 
love and peace. And um, and then um, what else? <laughs> Say thank you to the Creator, believing that uh, He listened to you. The minute that you you ask the Creator, He's answering your prayers right away. And uh, believe, and you will receive. And um, and just looking at my script here, making sure I don't forget anything. <laughs> And uh, when you uh, when you forgive uh, the other person, ask our Creator to uh, to heal that person, because that person who hurted you on purpose, they were not right in their own mind. Their heart was probably wounded themselves. So ask the Creator to help them, to heal them, and to bless them with bright blessings and um, and um, when something happens to you it's really sad and it's not your fault but to repeat the same pattern that's another story it just means that you have something uh, yucky in your heart you have some wounds and, uh, and you're responsible to heal those wounds that's when you need to stop blaming the other person and just let it go and forgive. Forgiving means taking uh, personal responsibility for the hurt that they did to you and now you're responsible to fix it, to heal your heart and you do that with the help of the Creator. Ask your heart <coughs> to cleanse your heart and, and to purify your heart and, and then to fill your heart of light and love, and, and um, peace, and joy, <clears throat> and you will see that you will start experiencing joy, and peace, and love in your heart, <clears throat> and, um, and you, you are worthy and deserving of your own forgiveness, and your own love. This is part of forgiving. You need to forgive yourself for trusting that person, forgiving your trust. And if you did a mistake that led you uh, to be hurt, hurted by that person or being taken advantage of, uh, forgive yourself for not knowing any better yourself. And number two, pray to God our Creator or whatever you call your high power, Jesus, God, Buddha, whatever it is to call your high power, because that high power is the creator of all of us. He created all of us. Develop a personal relationship with our creator, your creator. And um, that doesn't mean um, religion of any kind or going to church, because Religion were created by man to control people. Don't confuse God with, with religions because those are two different things. And don't confuse God with going to church. That's two different things. So, you need uh, to build a personal relationship with God, our Creator. Talk to God as if He's your friend, because He is your friend. And when you talk to God, that is praying. <clears throat> and, and just know that God listens to everyone. God listens to even the evil people praying to God when uh, they want to change their life around when they're asking God for help to change their life around. God listens to them and He does help people to change their life around. There's many success stories, just look it up on YouTube. And um, and if you have no words to talk to God, that's okay. <coughs> Tears are okay. Tears are prayers too, and they travel to God. Tears, God hears the tears 
those tears that roll down people's face and he, and he also hears the tears inside the heart of people as well and uh, those tears they're very loud to God he hears those tears very loudly more powerful than words and actions he knows what's in your heart And when you ask God for help, believe that He will help you. The minute that you ask, the minute you start talking to Him, He is helping you already and you don't even know it. And, and when you're finished talking to God, or you know, praying to God, say thank you all the time, believing that He is answering your prayer because He does answer every prayer. And um, every day, every night before going to bed, uh, ask God to cleanse your heart of any wounds or any darkness that was put there by someone else or perhaps yourself or something else. And, and ask God to replace that with light, love, and joy, and peace. And, and uh, <coughs> you will uh, wake up in the morning renewed. And ask God to restore you and he will. Some it happens right away, and other t other people it it happens gradually. And uh, ju just say thank you every time for healing you and for all the healing that He has done. And, and gratitude uh, really helps with the process of forgiveness. And um, ask God to break the power of evil. Some people call it Satan. Ask God to protect you against evil, all evil, and, and evil people and toxic people. And, um, and ask God to bless you with the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, and the truth. I took that from the a Christian Bible. Uh, it's in Ephesian, no, Galatian. Galatian 5, dash 22 and 23. <clears throat> and, um, and what I did um, to forgive, uh, it was really hard for me forgive certain people and I still have a hard time sometimes but what helps me is to re forgive every day make it a, a habit I forgive and and when there's some emotions that comes up and and uh, you you feel upset say it again uh, I forgive even though when you don't feel it in your heart you don't <laughs> feel forgiveness in your heart say it anyways I forgive you I forgive and uh, eventually uh, you start feeling forgiveness for that, for those people. It works. Pick it till you make it. <laughs> and um, and these people who hurted you were not right in their own mind. So at the same time, when you ask, uh, when you say you forgive, um, uh, ask God uh, to help them and heal them and to bless them. Okay, I'm maybe repeating myself a little and, and another thing um, that helped me out it's Psalm 23 it's in the Lord's Prayer and seeing the fruit of the Spirit it, it really uh, helped me out and, and saying I choose love and um, these are really great spiritual warfare so <coughs> Psalm uh, 23 for people who don't know that it's it's actually acknowledging that their Creator is our provider. He provides all of our needs. He uh, brings us uh, near still waters. He gives us rest in the green pastures, and He restores our souls. And, in, and even though when we walk in the 
valley of the shadow of death. We shall not fear any evil because God is there and He protects us. So you can read it yourself, and it's in the Bible, Psalm 23. Um, you can look it in the description below. I'll write the details of it. And the Lord's Prayer, it helps. I'll uh, write that too in the the description below for people who don't know the Lord's Prayer and the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and the truth. So whenever I feel upset or afraid or experience something negative, um, I always uh, say, uh, uh, God bless me with the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and the truth. Thank you. And, and often, too, before going to bed at night, I go in every room of my home and, and I bless it in the name of... Uh, my Creator with the fruit of the Spirit. And that's a, an example of that. I say, uh, in the name of the Creator, our Creator, who created earth and all life on earth, I bless this room and everything in this room with the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and the truth. Amen. And so it is. Thank you, Creator. And uh, some people can see in Jesus' name that that works for many people too. And uh, and gratitude, uh, having a gratitude journal and writing in it, counting your blessings, that helps with forgiveness. Uh, it helps with the process, and, and the Creator acknowledged that, you know, uh, um, um, example, you know, thank you God for the sunshine today, for the rain, because the sun and the rain makes the garden grow, and the garden feeds me. <laughs> thank you for another beautiful day on earth. Thank you for a beautiful night sleep. Thank you for protecting me during my sleep, and thank you for the beautiful weather. You know, there's no tornado and floods and earthquake as many experience. Thank you for keeping me safe, and and um, take care of all those who experience those things. Um, help them and bless them in every way. And number three, fake it till you make it. Write little notes and put it everywhere in your home, your car, and, and write notes that that says, I forgive. And uh, forgiveness is sweet. I forgive you. I forgive you not because you deserve it, but because uh, I'm setting myself free from you. And I'm ready to move on and to heal. So write these little notes and put it everywhere. Those little notes will help you remind you, especially when you're upset and when those upsetting feelings comes up of those <laughs> events. You know, it can remind you to say those things. You no, know, I forgive you, or I choose love. That is a big one. I choose love. That helps so much. Uh, write these little notes and put it everywhere on your dashboard on your car, uh, your fridge, uh, your mirrors, everywhere that you go, just put it in your office too, you know, in your drawers. It doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> and um, I said that, I'll say it again, every night before you go to sleep. <coughs> say that you forgive everyone and you forgive yourself too. So like that, when you go to bed, you go to bed with a clean heart and and uh, ask God to cleanse your heart of anything that you might have collected during the day that is not from love and to search your heart uh, to see if there's anything um, that is not from love in your heart and to cleanse it and to purify your heart and to fill your heart of love and light and joy and peace and to renew you and to restore you while you're sleeping. 
and uh, yeah, number four was a gratitude journal. I already went through that one. Uh, write at least ten things in your gratitude journal every day that you're you're um, you're grateful for. Say thank you for your customers. Thank you for your business. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your coworkers. Thank you for your your uh, neighbors. And thank you for your clothes that you wear. Um, the shoes and the food that you ate and the roof over your head, even though if it's not perfect, you know. How many people don't have a, a house to live in, you know. My house might not be perfect, might not be beautiful, but at least I have a roof over my head. And thank you, Creator, for providing all of my needs and provide for the needs of others. And... Um, and always remember that God, our Creator, always listens to us. He listens to all your prayers, and you don't need any uh, middleman to pray for you. Uh, he listens to you and talks to God from the heart. And uh, fake it till you make it. Keep on forgiving. Uh, keep saying that you forgive, him, even though if uh, you don't feel it in your heart. And uh, say Psalm 23. So. Uh, I'm running out of batteries in my camera, so thank you so much everyone for listening to me, and I wish everyone bright blessings.